Welcome to another Workshop Wednesday from the Fac Hall Barn. This week I am going to be addressing a couple of the problems that have come up with my bogey bolster log wagon. The first thing I'm getting to grips with is the fact that the log on it is actually just a bit too big. It's slightly too short for the length of the wagon with its rigid connecting bar and slightly too broad in diameter which means that the legs, the stanchions of the bolsters stick out sideways just a bit too much to get round the tighter spaces of the railway itself, particularly into the workshop, the model workshop, not this one. The log it's currently carrying as its load is too wide in diameter and a slightly too short to be easily carried round the railway. The stanchions stick out a little bit too far sideways and are fouling some of the tighter clearances, particularly into the workshop at Teeth's Horn itself. That's the model workshop, of course, not this one, which is Bad Schmelen. So my first job is to choose another log. Out with the old log, back with a new one. It isn't quite as wide. It's the same length because they're all cut for my log burner. Um, so I'm going to be making a new bar to connect the two wagons. Something a bit more robust than the uh, cast plastic resin one that was there already. What I'm doing here is making sure that the log is evenly placed across the two bogies so that it doesn't lift up the far wheels. It needs to roll flat, completely flat, on the railway to stop it doing wheelies and derailing. It's quite light being made of uh, 3D printed pieces and getting the balance right is essential to smooth running. Now I know how far apart the two bolsters must be, measuring it with the trusty old slightly stiff pliers and I now need to find something to make that new bar. And the perfect piece of material comes to light in the bits box, which is some two millimeter internal diameter copper tube. I'm gonna bend this at right angles at each end, the correct place, and then I'll um, flame it to give it some aging. marking up the tube to see exactly where I need to bend it. Scoring the tube lightly at each end using the Dremel so that it'll bend more easily with pliers. Using a little clay crucible uh, support and a blowtorch, lifting it up to red heat, and I'm going to douse it into some uh, citric acid that I use for boiler washing out, which will have the effect of blackening it and aging it slightly. I'm using M2 bolts with a hex socket head on them to secure the bar from underneath so that it doesn't jump out when it's in use on the railway itself. 
annealing it has had the effect of making it slightly softer. So I'm using the bolts as self-tappers rather than going to the trouble of tapping a thread and then putting it uh, in that way. They'll hold true, all right. Now I'm reinstating the safety chain between the two bogies. There's no real need for this, but it's what they do on the real world, and it looks pretty good as well. If uh, Well, I know it's there. No one else will. There's me speaking, which I've taken out the uh, real sound from this video because my voice sounded very silly. It was me saying, let it be noted that I have for once not got super glue on my fingers whilst using it. And now it's time to reload the wagon, making sure that it's properly balanced and chain the log into position. Originally, when I got this wagon, I was intending to change loads frequently, but actually they need to be more tightly attached than, than allows that to happen. Uh, otherwise, they tend to roll over on the corners. So I'm using the same chain I use for my couplings. Some of the links are cut and turned into hooks. And basically, I have to remember at this stage that I'm dealing with plastic, not metal. The last thing I want to do now, having got this far, is snap one of the stanchions. So there's the chain in place. Here's the wagon balance so that all four wheels on each bogey, so all eight wheels, remain in contact with the rail when it's in use. The next stage is in the morning to test it um, on the track and put it back into its train. Thief's horn, a slightly damp morning, and as if by magic, the wagon appears ready to be tested. And at this stage, it becomes question of trying to get into the train in a prototypical manner, trying not to break the fourth wall and keep the theatre going as long as possible. And let's face it, when have I ever really needed an excuse to do a bit of shunting?
With the newly balanced Bolster wagon marshaled securely into its train, it's now time to make sure that it doesn't get moved by accident, hence the notice, and to edit the video into what you're seeing now, for which I had some help from Mr. Scooter there. Thanks for watching. Bye now.